Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Richmond, podiatric physician and surgeon at Tanner Clinic in Layton, Utah. And today I'd like to talk about diabetic foot care. I see a lot of diabetic patients, and as you know, diabetes is a team approach, and there's many physicians, nurses, staff, and helpers that help with diabetic foot care. So with diabetes, there's complications like infections, blisters, corns, calluses, ulcers, burns, foreign bodies, gangrene, bony deformities, and amputations. First, I'd like to talk about diabetic infections. These are serious infections. I like to classify them as mild, moderate, or severe, and they need to be treated quickly and appropriately. On a mild infection, like maybe an ingrown toenail, usually we can take out the ingrown toenail and put them on oral antibiotics and we're okay. For like a moderate infection, say like cellulitis or with ulceration that's infected, a lot of times we'll have to admit the patient to the hospital and do an incision and drainage procedure, open it up and flush it out and put them on IV antibiotics. More serious infections like sepsis, gangrene, those type of infections are very serious and we need to admit them to the hospital, do an incision and drainage procedure, a possible amputation, and put them on IV antibiotics to get the appropriate care for them. Infections can go very quickly from minor to severe, so we want to catch them early. Signs and symptoms of infection, pain, redness, swelling, red streaks up the foot or leg, drainage, pus, odor, fever and chills, nausea and vomiting. So we start out with corns and calluses and pre-ulcerations. For example, if you had a corn on the top of your right second toe and had a hammer toe deformity, that could be irritation from shoe gear, from a bony prominence, and can develop into an ulceration. An ulceration is an opening of the skin which can go down to the bone and the bone can get infected and then the patient could lose their toe. So we like to correct these before that happens. Usually we'll do trimming the callus or trimming the corn, offloading the lesion, or possibly doing surgery. For example, in this case, like a hammer toe correction, we straighten out the toe and the corn goes away. 